Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello everybody. And we are glad to be with you this Saturday and we're going to talk about something that a lot of people ask questions about and that is the design process. Um, so we, we do a lot of that, don't we Morgan? Yes. <laughs> so our design process is something we're very proud of at KM Builders, but it's not just um, a KM Builders thing that, that you need. I mean, no matter who you, you go with and remodeling, just like home building, you need good designs. So it's important to understand what's involved in designs and, and also to what level will your contractor go. So we're going to talk about it in the general sense and also in the specific sense of what we do. And then you can pick and choose how important you think these things are. But obviously, the more thorough you are, the more things that get resolved before construction. And that is the number one goal of design to make sure that everything is understood clearly before construction. <clears throat> and obviously you could start construction a lot sooner if you didn't design everything out. That's kind of like <laughs> every, kind of like that in life, isn't it? Yep. You can always get started on something right away if you don't want to have a plan. Yes. I mean, you could start, you could start cooking a meal and if you didn't have a plan, at least in your mind, you would, uh, you'd really take a lot longer and it probably wouldn't turn out as good. Yeah, I mean, think it's like with cooking, if you were to start boiling the water and start doing all the things, start chopping all the vegetables, and then you get to put your chicken in there to make a chicken soup, but it's frozen still. <laughs> Very good That's example. like exactly like what would happen with remodeling. We get to the point and then we're like, wait, this isn't gonna work. We're gonna have to wait. Yeah. <laughs> wait, cause we gotta wait. Yeah. And, and of course, if you don't add the right ingredients, it doesn't taste very well either. Yeah, and then it looks really bad. And so there's a lot of ingredients. And it's funny that she and I just came up with this analogy of cooking right now, but uh, <laughs> that was without a plan, <laughs> but that turned out good. Yeah. No, but it really is like cooking something. You want it to be all the ingredients to be in there and to be set, set aside to make sure you have those ingredients because I'm sure all of us who've ever cooked anything have always said, oh, no, I don't have this I'm product. Out. I'm out. I got to go to the store to get it. <laughs> and if it's in the middle of the cooking, literally oh, uh, heating up, it does. Mess it's not going to taste good, is it? It's mm -hmm. not going to be. And you can't resolve that too, you know, quick enough. Now, yeah. oh, you might be able to go to a neighbor, but that might not work either. <laughs> yeah. So remodeling, you know, the number one thing is to, to make sure that everything is in order for construction. And design has a lot of elements in it that that are all based on that. You understanding is a big part of being ready for construction. If you don't understand what you're getting, you can't make that decision and you shouldn't have to do it by seeing it in place and say, oh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Because that is going to be very, very costly. I mean, it's, it's very much again like cooking. Oh, I don't like the way that tastes. Well, what do you got to do? Start over. <laughs> you can't usually change it a whole lot if you've put a, if you've done something wrong. Yeah. Now, if you've left off something, you might be able to add it. But so often in construction, it is already getting to the point where it's very costly to change it. So what do we want to do is, is make sure we know all the steps that it's going to take to get you to something that you have already seen. You, it is a whole lot easier to make a change on paper or in a computer than it is to do it in the job. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole, whole lot cheaper or less costly in two ways. One is actual physical money is involved, and the second is the time. The time is a big, big factor, especially nowadays when things are taking longer to get to arrive. Mm -hmm. If you wanted, there were times when somebody could make a change on something and maybe it was only a couple of weeks to get it. That's that's still a lot longer than we would we would want to to do to you. But uh, yeah. for some for some people, they could kind of live with that, even though it wasn't desired. But nowadays, you will have a you'll have a fat chance of uh, a slim chance of getting that in two weeks. Yeah. In in a lot of cases, it's fifteen weeks now, or even longer. And uh, the windows and and cabinets are your longest lead times typically. But even some tiles and floorings are taking a lot longer. So what you want is someone that has planned all of this out long before they started. 
and you do not want them in your home until they know that everything is going to be have been arrived. It doesn't matter how excited you are for them to start. You want to go through a good design process. And a lot of people we meet that I meet on the first visit um, each each week are surprised that there's this kind of timeline. It's it's uh, it's an acquaintance with a new concept for them because too many people are telling them, yeah, I could start your project and I could do this and I can do that, or they've seen it on HGTV, and they think that it can all be done in a well. I'm sure I could have it done by by Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> well, a lot of clients that we're meeting with now, we're telling them no, you yeah. can't, and some of the clients we're telling no, you can't have it by Christmas either. Mm -hmm. So because they don't even realize how long the design process should take. Just think about what it takes to do drawings and uh, blueprints of your project. It doesn't matter whether it is a bathroom remodel or kitchen remodel or room addition. They all take, take a certain amount of time to, to even gather the information. Mm -hmm. You know, when you hire an architect, they will draw up what you want. And they have a few measurements of your home. But they don't have is all the components that are in. They don't have the circuits drawn out. They don't have the plumbing outlined. They don't have the capacities. They don't have the floor levels. They don't have the textures detailed in their drawings because that's not what they're doing. They're giving you something new. But new is only half of the, of the blueprints. You need to start with what's there. And so the first thing we do in design is gather what's there. Mm -hmm. It's called existing conditions or as-builts is another term for it. And we call them existing conditions. We want to know all of them when we start the design process because that can actually uh, lead, it's the only way actually to be 100% accurate when you're doing your new dimensions and drawings to know what you're coming off of. And these are not generally close measurements. These are precise to the eighth of an inch. Yeah, there. it also helps with figuring out how we design to make the design the most cost effective. We had a design consultant go last week to a client's house and they had the client go upstairs, flush the toilet so that we could figure out which of the walls was the plumbing wall. Mm -hmm. So that's because when we add a bathroom, that's where we're gonna put the plumbing, as closest to that as we can. So. That's There's good. a lot of things that, that go into that. Yeah, it really is. And, and that saves you money and mm -hmm. time. And, um, you know, it eliminates that thing that everybody hates. It's called a surprise. <laughs> Nobody needs a surprise that, oh, well, we didn't know that was in that wall. Mm -hmm. And that's what you see on the HG shows all the time. So good planning can eliminate surprises. And a lot of people just act like it's, it's, it's common. It's just the way it's going to be. They're, well, we don't know what's in the walls. How could we know? Well, like Morgan just said, there are ways to find <laughs> out. And you can even use infrared technology a lot of mm -hmm. times to see this. And we have cameras that go in small holes and we can look around. Yep. Just like we were a little rat running around up there. Yep. And, uh, and so this is, this is what can be done in the planning. But the first step is to get all to know exactly what you have. And that's, that's what we want to we wanna start with. Put all that in there, and then we can build from that. And so when we come back, we're going to talk about the next step to the, the design phase. But before I leave, before the break, I want to mention my friends at R2 Motorsports. Uh, they remind me a lot of us in the fact that I took my car somewhere else, and they didn't finish the job. But you know what? They handed me the keys and said it's done. And it really wasn't. And that's not... That's not very good whenever you have a high performance vehicle like mine that has a problem with it at high RPMs. That is not what you want to see. But Leroy at R2 Motorsports knew exactly what was wrong and he told me I was going to have the problem before I actually had it because I told him about it and I hadn't experienced it yet. But he predicted exactly what was going to happen when I told him what was done to the car. And so I was totally impressed with him. And if you want your car to perform, correct, go to Leroy like I'm going to now. I should have done it before. I didn't know him then, but he's at 210-354-7004, 354-7004, and he doesn't just work on Hellcats. It's at <laughs> r2motorsports.com, R2, like R2D2, but it's r2motorsports.com, and we'll be right back to the KM Builder Who Modeling and Design Show.
Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. Well, we're glad to be with you. I think yours needs to go up a little more. Oh. And <laughs> and uh, I want to mention my friend at Elite Lighting Designs. If you want your home lit up, not only on the outside the of the building, but also maybe the trees and landscaping like I've got, it is gorgeous. You need to call Sean at Elite Lighting Designs at 210-573-0594, 573-0594, or EliteLightingDesigns.com. So we're talking about what, a client testimonial now? Oh, no, we're... We're skipping that yeah. today? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we, we all wanted to mention the next thing and the design process. So we talked about in the first segment that you have to have the existing conditions, and you... And, and of course, I ought to emphasize this again, you don't want to start construction until all the designs are done. That's a big, big mistake. It's part, a crucial part of the planning. We want all of our clients to know what's going to look like in every aspect of the detail, including cabinets, mm -hmm. so that we're on the same page. And if something needs to be adjusted, let's do that now. Let's do it before we start ordering. Let's do it before we start taking out anything, before we start demolition because it very likely could be costly in time and money. So we do the existing conditions and that's where we have one architect, one designer, we have three that have a degree in architecture and we put one of those on your team. Mm -hmm. And then we have three different interior designers and we will put one of those on your team. And we have four estimators and we'll put one of those on your team and they have experience in construction. So that's very, very useful. And then uh, they're, they're going to extrapolate all the numbers specifically for your project. Mm -hmm. And then we will have one of two cabinet designers on your project as well. And so, so Morgan will be there too. She's our client experience manager. And then Bob, who's our manager mm -hmm. of the design and construction, I mean design and um, estimating. And so they'll be there. And then we're going to have a captain of that team that was your go-to person every day. And so there's a, a full team assembled for even a small bathroom to make sure we get this right. And that we've got all the best ideas flowing from all of these hundreds of years of experience that we're making available to you. And so that team then will do those existing drawings. They'll, they'll get it all measured up. They'll talk about your designs and your ideas and inspiration and dreams. And then they're gonna start working on it. They're gonna go back to the office and do the, the first set of drawings, which is the existing conditions, and then they can start sketching on there and overlay what would look good on this project to get your goals. And so the next process then is to do blueprints. Mm -hmm. They do floor plans that are literally blueprints of your project, the new project, the old and the new, side by side so you can see how it's changing. There's a demolition plan that goes in there too shortly afterward that shows how you take what you take off. And that's very surgical, very precise and surgical. So there's actually a demolition plan that shows this is what would have to be removed to get this to this point. And sometimes in the blueprints, the floor plans of, of your, the first step is floor plans. We have one or two or sometimes three versions of what it could look like. And then you come in and you look at that and say, oh, I like this one better than this one. Or maybe they're different budgets. Mm -hmm. You were thinking of what if we did it this way instead of just this way? What would that cost? And what would it look like? Yeah, that's probably the most that happens is we give like a, the three different budget options. And we're able to explain why each of these is different. One may be bigger. One may be involving knocking down that wall that opens up those two rooms and turns it into this massive suite but it but they might like parts of this parts of this too mm -hmm. so it's really different a, elements can be moved around right mm -hmm. we mainly that that meeting is where we all come together as the client as the dc the design consultant the architectural and then it's like okay now i can see it now i know i really love that and i hate that Okay, great. <laughs> you like that meeting? Yeah. It's a fun meeting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's using computer technology. And a lot of times, even on that first meeting, we'll have some 3Ds done, right? Yep. We like to call them like 2Ds in the first one. So it's a little more lines and less like um, 
it's still visuals. A, yeah, it's it's still a 3D, but it's mm -hmm. very it's very thin Sketching. lines, thin lines, mm -hmm. and so you get some of that in the first meeting, mm -hmm. and because we're doing three designs, right? Because you've got you've got so many, you can't go into the same depth. Yeah. So then, what happens is a person comes, um, makes some decisions. Yeah. And if it's a big project, then they come back again for another review mm -hmm. to see those changes and to see if uh, anything else is going to be added. They they maybe haven't seen all of it yet either mm -hmm. because we want to get them started on their thinking early. And so let's say that in that in that third meeting, which is one at the home and then the second one, there's two meetings at the office. Mm -hmm. In that second meeting where they're seeing the, the vision and the design, it goes from blueprints to 3Ds, and by that second meeting, 3Ds are being shown even more. Yeah, digitized. And, uh -huh. and, and, that, and sometimes that, that second meeting is actually now the, the second meeting at the office is now the third meeting at the office for some of those where those details are being finished up. Mm -hmm. And in that last meeting at the office, that's where your 3Ds are glorious. I mean, they <laughs> are incredible. That's the detail that you see on TV. Mm -hmm. And so we do the 3Ds along with the blueprints, and and basically you're going to have uh, every every aspect of this is going to be visible to you, and that includes cabinetry, backsplashes, flooring, uh, lighting, colors, and so forth. Uh, at least some of the initial to give you the the depth. And so you're going to get a lot of depth perception in here, 3D renderings. Yeah. Uh, and there's a difference between a 3D drawing and a 3D rendering. Yeah, that's probably tell, what it is. Tell us what that difference is. Well, the 3D drawing doesn't really show any um, tile shape or, or furniture placement, stuff like that. Wall colors. Wall colors, yeah. The cabinet colors, it's all just going to be standard white um, with some grays. It's like grayscaled. And then the 3D rendering is what you would see. I when I first walked up on one of those, I was like, I thought it was a picture of the house, not yeah, that's a the digital yeah. image. Yeah, so, it was So that's crazy. what you get in, in a really good design process. Now we're gonna talk about more aspects of it when we come back, but I wanna mention my friend Frank, uh, Frank Menchaca at Frank's Paint and Body Shop. He's worked on several of our vehicles. Well, hopefully you don't ever need one worked on, <laughs> but more than likely you will. And what a guy to have in your, in your, as your friend. Call him at 927-3410, 217-3410. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show.